Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships and today we're going to see if the Yamato is worth it. Now me and the Yamato, we've had a rough past but I've been playing it more and I've been doing better. Anyway, let's get into our commander. We got Titan Godzilla. Um, his inspirations are Andrew Cunningham increases the shell grouping. Auto Ciliax with main gun AP shell damage increased. We are running for our commander Godzilla, flammable cannoneer, gyrating drill bits, marksmanship. Reaching out XXL and will to rebuild. Um, so now the boosters, obviously, I'm running with boosters. I'm going with the camouflage of Golden Week. That's what I enjoy. I mean, it's like a, it's a really nice camouflage. I dig the, I dig the black, red, and gold. It's pretty cool. We are going with the Duck War flag as usual. Now there are two heals on the Yami, which I do not like, but you know it is what it is. I'm sure there's a commander that gives an extra heal. Um, for inspirations or something like that, but two heals. It's all right And we obviously have spotter planes which increase the shell grouping and also detect ships Specs survivability is 98 hit points is 90,000 armor is 16 to 650 millimeters thick torpedo damage reduction is 55% Artillery 95 the main guns reach out 19.7 kilometers real time 30 seconds 180 degree turn time 32.7 seconds maximum he shell damage is 7300 fire setting chances 35 percent maximum ap shell damage is 16872 secondary armament fire range 5.2 kilometers reload time 4.8 seconds maximum he shell damage is 2100 fire setting chances is eight percent now these are the little secondaries like um, let me get a good look. It's like these ones right here. These little secondaries. And then we're going to get to the ones on the front. They're like the big secondaries. Big secondaries is what I'm going to call them. I mean, they have a name. Obviously, it's 155 millimeter, um, 155 millimeter third year type. Fire range is 5.2 kilometers with reload time in 9.6 seconds. So they take a little longer. Maximum HG shell damage is 2,600. Fire setting chance 10%. A defense is 85, maneuverability 24. And I'm running consolidment mod on this, so consolidment is 40. Statistics, I have played four AI battles. Um, it was just like for testing and stuff. Um, standard, now, like I said, me and the Yami have had a rough past. Um, I've had 38 defeats and I've had 38 victories on the ship. So battles played 76, battles survived 25, main gun accuracy is 36%, so not as good. Warships destroyed, or I think this is like average kill per game. Almost one. Uh, damage to ships, 80,786. Aircraft destroyed, almost around, mm, it's like half, so there's not many carriers. XP, 1,329. Uh, no, yeah, 39. I can't see from this far. Warships spotted, 0 0.5. Damage upon your spotting, 19,000. Potential damage... 1,212,657. I don't know what the potential damage means, but you know, it is what it is. My high battle achievements, maximum ships destroyed 4, aircraft destroyed 26, max damage so far is 168,000, max HP 2,645, Warships spotted 3, damage upon spotting 86,000. Potential damage to mil, so yeah, there's that. I have played arena with it, and I've only won one and lost eight. Okay, armor time. So obviously you have the superstructure, it's lying and everything. Um, so overmatching with Yami. Pretty much Yami could go through anything, but, but except, except the German ships, because they have thick armor. So um, when you're fighting a German ship, just don't try and punch it through the bow, because you will not overmatch it. But you do have the biggest guns in the world, which are 460 millimeters, and you got three of them, these three big boys. Um, so the highlighted section of the ship right here, you can punch through that. Like, take the Yami out, and if you get a good angle on another ship besides, I say besides a German ship, because you will not punch through it. Um, like Schieflin, or the Digerober, I think. I'll look at those after. But... Um, yeah, you can punch right through it with the main guns and you'll most likely get the Citadel. Actually, yeah, you will get the Citadel, which the Citadel is sticking out right here. And the Citadel is above waterline, so you know, I've seen clips on YouTube shorts of people Citadeling the crap out of Yami, so... Yeah, you can, you can Citadel the crap out of the ship. 
Um, just don't hit that purple spot. Or, um, I don't know what the purple spot is. Actually, you know what? That is, um, that is a citadel. Never mind. But yeah, Yami, it's got a, it's got quite the big citadel. But remember, you could punch through this right here and hit straight into the citadel because your guns overmatch that armor. It's an ironclad, above average armor thickness, greater resistance to all forms of armor penetration, superior AP, above average on AP shelf penetration. It used to say HE. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen that before. I know they changed it because I've seen the HE before when it first came out, and I was like, what? It's got big guns, of course. The ship is armed with high caliber main battery guns. Yamato, the biggest warship of World War II and the world's largest battleship. Yamato has designed around the idea that an individual ship could have superiority over any battleship of a potential enemy. Her main guns had overwhelming firepower. The ship maintained a high, very high level of uh, survivability due to a reliable armor and robust torpedo protection. Yamato's AA cap uh, capabilities were highly efficient due to carrying numerous AA artillery guns. Entered service 1941, ships in a series 4, and I know one of them is Musashi, I don't know what the other two is, I'll probably look them up. <laughs> so yeah, get a nice look on Yami. She is quite a beauty. And I gotta, before we get into the match, I gotta show you the upgrades I'm going with. I'm going with Aiming Systems Mod 1. Mod 1, yeah. Uh, propulsion mod, I like to go back and forth uh, easy. And I'm going with consolidment mod, so I don't get detected as well. And the secondary battery mod uh, 3, let me know down in the comments if there's something better to put on that besides the secondary mod, like the AA or the main battery, because I don't know, the main battery, the traverse speed, I mean, it makes the ships like uh, main guns turn slower, and I don't really like that, but it does reduce the uh, reload time. I might just test them. But let me know which one's better. But anyway, let's get into the match. Alrighty. We've got Hyatt. I love that roar. Holy heck. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that boat. <laughs> I'm still struggling with that. Neptune, Duncan, Yamato, Columbo, Columbo, Columbo. Schieflin, Schieflin, Schieflin on our team. That's crazy. And we have Republic. And a Schroeder. A Brincy, Halad, and Magador. I, I'm trying to pronounce these the best I can. Um, we overmatch Colombo, 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 and Yami. Actually, you know what? Colombo's gonna be a test. Um, I'm pretty sure we overmatch it. We'll we'll see this round. But those Colombos, they are in a match. Oh golly, that user right here. It looks familiar. I've seen that guy a couple times. But there's freaking three, three Columbos on one side of these on this map, so if we get it, it's gonna be one heck of a fight. Let's see who we got here. We got Schieflin with us. That's good. And Helen. Who was that? It was this ship here. Where'd he go? I'm just gonna call that ship Kron. That's called Kron now. There's Columbo. My, 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 you're a little... Alright, let's see if we overmatch that. I might have to get a little closer. That's just like a test shot, honestly. Alright, Cruiser's coming out. Kron's coming out. We punched through it. We hit 11k on him, so yeah, we do overmatch him. Actually, really good. Unless we had a super structure, I got check. Oh my gosh. Please tell me those shots hit him. He went broad. I am pushing middle. There is destroyer. We most likely have it. Oh, we hit 6k on him. That's good. We still remain undetected, which is good. Nope, never mind. As soon as I open my mouth, we get detected. Bronze coming out. Well, I'm still not smoke. I'm pretty sure we got a destroyer in our cap. Unless it's like cruiser. No, he's outside the cap. Oh my gosh, bud. What are you... Alright. He's just asking for death. There's that fire. And we got three citadels on him. And man just ate a big time one. Schieflin, you gotta shoot him right now. Rolling this cap, make sure making sure it's contested. We do have two heals, that's the downside. Dude, I don't think Schieflin has got an angle on him. It's not looking like he does. 
You're shooting HE. Bud, what are you doing? You're, you're freaking Yami. Use that AP. Alright. I gotta put that out. We got Neptune and Kron over here. We got Yami and we got the three Columbos freaking over here. That's nice. Missed those shots on Yami. I was aiming a little low. I was trying to punch through his cheek, but that didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. I don't think he's focused on us, and that Neptune is what's capturing the cap, so I don't think we have the destroyer on our side, which is actually really nice. So that means we can start pushing up. Um, I don't know. I think Neptune has torpedoes. Still, I'm still trying to figure these cruisers out. I'm watching out for that Columbo and stuff like that. I'm going to start turning out to the left just to get myself angled. I really hope this Yami doesn't pick me up. Because if he does, he's going to get a real nice shot on me. I'm just trying to get away from these three battleships. You know what they say, never go broad. But I have to go broad because I don't want these. Because if I go straight out, they're gonna get, there's going to be three ships aiming at my citadel. And I'd rather have one. Alright, we're going to start slowing and going. This Neptune, this Kron is about to eat some big time guns, and he's gonna be the first kill right now. And we're detected, so let's start angling out. Gosh dang, what did I miss? Oh, he turned. Gosh dang it, I thought I got him. Neptune is close. I don't know if Kron has torpedoes. I'm looking for him. Oh, hello, Neptune. You have torpedoes. Let's get punch in the wall. Black dude. I feel like Shkiflin's gonna eat these torpedoes. torpedoes dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. Oh, he was anticipating those. Okay. He was way off on that anticipation. Alright, it's just Chrome left. Skiflin got a devastating strike, that's good. We are down Torpedo's a couple ships, which is not good. So, Kron Torpedo's does have to torpedoes. Port. That's good to know. Alright, we got- Oh my, Broadside Columbo, alright. I'm slowing down because they're Yami off on my left and he's just clear out there. Uh, of course he gets away. Oh, we have a gun can right here, so take the shot at him. It's a UK boat. Oh my gosh. See you later. First kill. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was expecting that to hurt. We got a first kill. We're at 98k so far. There is Yami out here. I want to take this Yami, but it's like... He can detect me, so we're going to start heading to B cap and then help out the team. I mean, it is a 5v4. We still got a destroyer, which is huge. It's always huge to have a destroyer. They still got a destroyer, so and they're probably in C cap right now. We do have a ship over there that's probably struggling. Yeah, battleship's out at C cap. He's kind of struggling. I mean, he's got like three ships on him. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm broadside. I can't let Columbo get this nice shot on me. Issue is, hopefully we can make it behind this island before we get detected. Oh, that Columbus is so dead. Wait for it. Oh, I led that a little too much. Gosh dang. Yeah, those are terrible. I don't want to talk about it. Yami doesn't seem focused on us. He's really focused on that uh, Skeef one out there. This Columbo is not paying attention to... Uh, What's in front of him? Hold on! We open option, so we're going to punch through. Yeah, ready for this? Punch through that, we got 11k out of it. This Columbo's all by himself. Yamato out there, still dangerous. Um, he's about to be out of our range though, so that makes me feel more comfortable. Skiflin's gonna capture this, which is real nice done by him. That destroyer is still at sea cap. 
like I said, we overmatch. That was kind of terrible. They still have Columbo, Columbo, Yami, and Highland. We just have Skiflin, Skiflin, Yami, and me. And, not me, and Highland. I don't know where he's at, though. Oh, he's in VCAP with us. That destroyer, though, is scaring me. That destroyer's gonna be with the Skiflin right in front of us. And that freaking Columbo's smoke, bro. That's so annoying. Those look pretty good. Got 10k out of that. It's not bad. Oh, there he is. We need to go. Oh, okay. Down he goes. Our destroyer got him. That's good. Oh, shoot. I knew it. That skeef one went down, didn't he? Gosh dang. Okay, that's scary. That was very scary. I'm really hoping this skeef one could kill him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy these shots, Yami. Oh, shoot. 9k, that was mostly superstructure. I am very confident that Scoop one's gonna kill him. Our team has taken the lead. Our destroyer is going to help him. I'm going after this Yami. I should probably go after C point, but we do have two points captured and we do have the advantage of points on our side. Seven seconds. I really hope I punch through that cheek. 4k out of it. He got 4k as well. Good golly, they got to kill that Columbo. Probably not the smartest idea to go for this Yami. But I just, he's gonna be an issue. Cause he's just freaking chilling out here. I gotta get rid of him. Yeah, that Columbus should be dead. I'm just watching him back here. Dude, Skiflin and Columbo are close. This Yami is gonna eat some torps here. I think he's dead. Maybe with these shots. Yep, there we go. Punch through him. Destroyed an enemy battleship. Oh shoot, come on Yami, turn, 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 turn. Actually, you know what? We're fine. It, it, we're out of, we're not even in the detection zone yet. So we're chilling. All it takes is one more shot. Hiya, buddy. Oh, golly, that crossfire. Oh, he's got HG loaded up. He could have seen The ship is on fire. And down he goes. Well, we got two kills, three Citadel hits, and 156,000 damage. We got one assist and capture the flag, and or capturing the base. We finished second on the list. Yeah, that was a pretty good round in the Yami. Alright guys, now when it comes to saying is the Yamato worth it, yes of course it is. It's the biggest guns in the world, the biggest battleship, and you could, the guns can punch through really anything, and like that's just what's so nice about it. And I really like the fact that it's in the game, and it is a beautiful ship to look at. Like, I mean, look at that. She's massive, she's pretty, and I like it. That's that sounds stupid. Hold on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the Yamato is worth it because it's got massive guns and it's the world's biggest battleship. She's got good armament and very good torpedo reduction. And it, sometimes the RNG can just like you know mess around with the shooting or something like that. And that's what's kind of annoying, but. She is a fun ship to play in, and I really do enjoy playing in Yami. But you can leave a comment down below what you think of the Yami. But I think she is worth it. And it might be uh, the first ship you want to research in the Baru project, because that was the first ship I ever researched. And at the time, I wasn't really the best player. 
when I got her, like it was probably a couple of years ago, or when the Baru project came, first came out, and I wasn't very good with the Yami. That's why I say, I mean, the Yami have had a rough pass because I haven't really played with it. Because you know me, I've been playing with all these freaking American ships. <laughs> I will do more American ships, like, is the Montana worth it? Ala I already did Alaska. Is the Maine worth it? And I already did Iowa. I already did Kansas, Massachusetts. Like, we'll keep going. We'll get to the lower tiers, too, you know, for, like, newer players to, you know, understand which ships are worth it in the lower tier and what ships are not worth it. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like down if you want more. Are they worth it? Because I put it in a playlist and you can look through them. And you can see, like, oh, yeah, this ship is worth it and stuff. And I'm going to be more judgy. Like, um, Yami's obviously good because it's got the big guns and you can overmatch anything. And let me know down in the comments if you want, like, cruisers or destroyers. And I can do showcases on them. And I'll try to understand, like, how to play with them. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.